Welcome to Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Big Beard Battery. Visit BigBeardBattery.com. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Hey, this week I'm gonna go ahead and answer some of the questions. Hey, is it better to have two smaller batteries or one bigger battery? And then another question is, is well, what is better? Maybe going 12 volt systems or a 24 volt system if you have an inverted system. Let's go ahead and dig into that. Now in both cases, I'm gonna be talking about lithium batteries, but it can be applied to lead acid batteries. The question is, is it better to have more of a smaller size battery bank or maybe less, but a larger size battery bank. And in all cases, doesn't matter the batteries. Here's the thing. If you have multiple batteries pro providing power, the whole goal of actually getting a bank of batteries is doing everything that you can in your installation to make them work seamlessly together. What do I mean by that? They all share the load, right? So you got six batteries down there. Doesn't matter what type of batteries you have. They're all pushing equally to take care of whatever demand that there may be. The problem is, is when you have multiple batteries, they're all slightly different on the inside. Now, some of you, you may know the term, it's called internal resistance. In other words, just of the craft the craftsmanship of that particular battery might be slightly off of the craftsmanship of this battery over here, so on and so forth. Well, with those small variances, it doesn't seem like a big deal, okay? Very small, what's the big deal? Over time, what's gonna happen is, is you're gonna have what's called balancing issues. One battery, because it's got a little bit more internal resistance than the other, may have either, just depending on the discharge, it may be a little bit more charged than the battery with less internal resistance. Why is that? Well, the battery that can provide the power faster and uh, with less resistance will do most of the work. And when it goes to charging though, the battery with less internal resistance will get charged faster. And so over time, when you have multiple batteries, we're gonna see that they get out of balance. So there was a question that someone had posted. Hey, what's better to have a single 200 amp hour battery or two 100 amp hour batteries? Now again, based in this scenario, I'm gonna tell you a single 200 amp hour battery is far better. You won't have near as many balancing issues over time. Okay, now I know that a lot of you are saying, well, Todd, I've, I've got my motor coach here. It's got six batteries in there. I've never noticed it. The reason why you never noticed it is probably because you never checked it. Have you ever wondered why one battery goes dead or goes bad before the others? You bought them all at the same time. Why does one battery seem to fail before the others? Now you know. All right, so it is better to have maybe one battery versus a bank of batteries. This is why there's different sizes, okay? Now let's go ahead and answer the question, well, which is better, a 12 volt system or a 24 volt system, if you're gonna have the battery supply the power through an inverter for everything else in the RV, okay? I will tell you, it is probably better to go 24 volt system. Here's the reason why. It's the same concept if I have multiple 12 volt batteries versus fewer 24 volt batteries, right? I have less balancing issues. Not only that, but if we're talking lithium, okay? If we're talking lithium batteries, inside the lithium battery cell should be, not in the cell, but inside the box itself, should be an internal BMS. Now that just stands for battery management system. Guys, it's one of the first batteries that we have and I'm sure going forward, this is the way it'll be, where we put a logic board inside and we get it to address all the different concerns because there's just different things that go on inside that battery. And that's what makes lithium right now so much better because we're putting in circuit boards and we're protecting those cells to high voltage, to low voltage, to high amps, to low of amps, um, uh, temperature controls, all of that. We're able to put that in there, which means the batteries last longer, but here's the thing. If I have a 12 volt battery and another 12 volt battery and I put them in series to create a 24 volt connection, okay? I've got two brains now working and th the batteries are what we call direct current. What does that mean? Well, electrons flow one way. So here you have two posts, you've got your positive and your negative. Now one of the posts, when we are discharging, we're pulling power from the battery, goes out one of the posts. And when we're charging, it comes back in the other post. Make sense? I'm hoping it makes sense, okay? Now, when you put two together, 
one positive to one negative, two different batteries, I still have one positive and one negative open. So on the discharge of my lead battery, what's gonna happen is the BMS inside, those brains inside, are gonna start looking at the cells of that one battery. The BMS on this battery doesn't look at that BMS over there. <laughs> doesn't even see it. And it's saying, hey, we're discharging and we're getting pretty daggum, daggum low. The other one, which is next to it, is just slightly further away. And it's gonna have a less of a, well, it's gonna have a little bit more charge to it, just a little bit, okay? Because we see we have two different ones. Well, again, same thing. This one's gonna charge faster. This one's gonna discharge faster. And I have two brains. So what's gonna happen? Those brains are set up inside to where they will cut power in or out if the cell is too charged or too undercharged, okay? What does that mean? Well, that means that even though this battery over here is not fully charged, this battery is stopping it because it's fully charged. Boom, boom, now you get little problems. Again, what am I breaking it all down to? Let me make it easy. Balancing issues, okay? Balancing issues. If you're gonna go with a 24 volt system and you're using 12 volt batteries, in order to really work with the two brains, you have to add another component called a battery balancer, okay? Or you could just simply buy a battery at the voltage that you're looking for, 24 volts or 48 volts. I know that's detailed uh, just a little bit, but if you really wanted to know, because I know people will start chasing, oh, well, if I go with a 24 volt battery, that means smaller wire. Yes, that is true. Um, it, it, it may save you five or 10 pounds total in the bill that you have and maybe save you about 50 bucks. Okay, and to me, those two factors, when you're talking about, say, a slightly larger system, it's not a big deal. The game changer, if I were to use that term, when we're talking about going 12 to 24, is being able to have one brain handle all 24 volts, now checking eight cells instead of four with two brains. Okay, far less inconveniences. Okay, so hopefully that'll help out. The bigger the cell and the higher the voltage you have for a larger system means fewer batteries. What does that mean? Less balancing issues, which means down the line, seven, eight, year nine, maybe even year 10, they're all still gonna be the same, as close as possible. Remember, if you have six batteries, lead acid batteries, one dies before the other, and you never asked why. Well, now you know. Oh, and by the way, for you keyboard warriors, because I know you're going to do this. Todd, you always talk about big systems. Why do you always brag about big systems? This is what I can do. I can live off of a half of a battery with my fart fan and it'll be 72 degrees, right? Because I don't need a big system, blah, 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 blah. Why are you bragging about big systems? My question is, why are you bragging about such a small system, right? Bragging is bragging, right? I'm not bragging. I'm providing information. When you keyboard warriors send it back and say, I don't understand why people need multiple batteries and big old systems to run everything, living off grid means to live, you know, very small in a very small footprint. Okay, good on you. I'm glad you do that, right? But you telling me that in the comments, now you're bragging. You ever thought about that? By the way, if you're truly off grid, what are you doing on the internet? Ah, you should be out there hunting with the bears and the wolves and everything else, getting your food and just living with maybe a little bitty pocket knife. <laughs> there's your challenge. I kid, I kid. Hey, there's your tech tips. Are we ready? I kid, I kid. We hopefully, we hope, and I apologize for the name. I'm sure it's going to be right here. Now I'll leave it up to the editor to put it right here. Ha <laughs>